fuel cell vehicles and electric vehicles both these vehicle technologies having their own advantages and disadvantages some people think electric vehicles are better than fuel cell vehicles and some people think fuel cell vehicles are far better than electric vehicles to find out which vehicle technology has more advantages and benefits for our mother earth let's start the comparison between these two vehicle technologies a hydrogen fuel cell vehicle has a hydrogen tank that feeds a fuel cell with high pressured hydrogen gas that will mix with oxygen this mix starts an electrochemical reaction that produces electricity to power the electric motor here the stored hydrogen gas into electricity by mixing it with oxygen this electricity is then used to power an electric motor to run a fuel cell vehicle on the other hand electric vehicles are powered by electric motors that gets current from a rechargeable battery now let's compare the availability of refueling stations and charging stations at the end of 2019 there are 432 hydrogen refueling stations in the world europe has 177 hydrogen stations and 87 of them are in germany france has 26 there are 178 hydrogen stations in asia 114 of them are in japan and 33 in korea north america has 74 hydrogen stations and the majority of operating stations are located in california what about india india's first hydrogen fueling station was opened on sunday 9th october 2005 by the former minister of petroleum and natural gas mr manishankar ayer in 2015 india has inaugurated its first solar powered hydrogen fueling station located at the solar energy center near delhi it generates 100% green hydrogen from solar energy through an electrolyzer later in 2018 india oil corporation ioc demonstrated the successful trials of india's first hydrogen fuel cell powered bus in collaboration with tata motors now let's see how many charging stations are available worldwide with more than 5 lakh public chargers china has the most charging stations available in the world the united states has around 78000 charging stations netherland has 50000 charging stations you can see the remaining countries charging station statistics in the video coming to india currently there are 250 charging stations are operational in 2020 central government sanctioned 2636 charging stations now let's compare the efficiency of these two vehicle technologies let's talk about fuel cell vehicles efficiency now here we are taking an example 100 watts of electricity produced by a renewable source such as a wind turbine to power and fuel cell electric vehicle this energy has to be converted into hydrogen by electrolysis process around 25% of the electricity is automatically lost after electrolysis process so energy efficiency is reduced to 75% the hydrogen produced has to be compressed chilled and transported to the hydrogen station and this process is around 90% efficient inside the vehicle the hydrogen needs to be converted into electricity which is 60% efficient finally the electricity used in the motor to move the vehicle is around 95% efficient so it's only 38% of the original electricity which is 38 watts out of 100 watts is used let's talk about electric vehicle battery efficiency now with electric vehicles the energy runs on wires all the way from the source to the car the same 100 watts of power from an electric grid loss about 5% of efficiency another 10% of energy loss from charging and discharging the lithium ion battery plus another 5% from using the electricity to make the vehicle move so electric vehicle batteries uses 80 watts out of 100 watts which means hydrogen fuel cell requires double the amount of energy when compared with an electric vehicle now compare these vehicles in terms of range On a full tank of hydrogen a fuel cell vehicle can travel up to 500 km on the other hand electric vehicles on a full charge can travel between 160 to 320 km now let's compare these two in terms of refueling time hydrogen vehicles having a huge advantage when compared to electric vehicles because a fuel cell car can be refueled 
in 5 to 10 minutes. On the other hand, an electric car takes hours for a full charge. Even the Tesla Model S can take 1 hour for a full charge with supercharger. Now let's compare these two in terms of refueling comfort. In the case of electric vehicles, most of the EV owners prefer to charge at home rather than visiting a charging station. The EV users feel comfortable to charge their vehicle at home rather than a charging station. In the case of hydrogen vehicles, the owners should visit a hydrogen refueling station. Now let's compare both the vehicles fuel cost. An FC EV using $8 per kilogram of hydrogen fuel which means around 600 rupees in Indian currency and the running cost of a hydrogen vehicle is about $0.08 per kilometer which means 6 rupees in Indian currency. On the other hand electricity tariff price ranging from $0.15 per kilowatt hour in the world. In Indian rupees it is 11 rupees. In India the electricity tariff price starts from 7 rupees. So the running cost of an electric vehicle is 1.6 rupees per kilometer. Now let's compare these vehicles in terms of pollution. Both these vehicles don't produce pollution at the tailpipe but they both have the potential to produce pollution when their fuel is created. The electricity will mostly come from power plants that in the majority of cases are burning fossil fuels to produce that electricity and those fossil fuels. The hydrogen for the fuel cell vehicle will most likely to be produced by electrolysis which involves passing electricity through water. But both these vehicles have the wonderful potential to produce electricity and hydrogen from non-polluting forms. The best examples are hydropower, solar power, wind power and nuclear power. Only then a hydrogen vehicle or an electric vehicle can be completely accepted as green. We are concluding this topic by saying electric vehicles are currently the widely accepted technology in most of the countries. The world's electric vehicle sales nears 2 million in 2000. 19. Basic charging infrastructure, widely available, wide choice of sedans and SUVs are some of its advantages. Range constraints, slow charging, battery recycling difficulties are some of its disadvantages. On the other hand, fuel cell electric vehicles are at the early stages of adoption. Lower environmental impact and 95% recyclability are the advantages of hydrogen fuel cell vehicles. Very few vehicles availability, expensive refueling network are some of its disadvantages. According to IHS Markey report, fuel cell vehicle sales will reach half a million vehicles per year by 2032 and as per International Energy Agency, electric vehicle sales will reach 44 million vehicles per year by 2030. That's all the complete analysis between fuel cell vehicles and electric vehicles. Comment your favorite vehicle category in the comment section below. Is it a fuel cell vehicle or an electric vehicle? Go green, go electric. Electric vehicles taught in motto is keeping the earth a safer place to live for the next generations. If you want to join our movement, you can support simply subscribing to our channel or sharing our videos or commenting on videos. Thanks for watching.